Introducing, in the blue corner, fighting out of Houston, Texas, weighing 221 pounds, with a professional record of 34 wins, no defeats, 29 KOs, he is the IBF heavyweight champion of the world, Tony TNT Tucker. And in the red corner, from Catskills, New York, he too weighs 221 pounds. He is undefeated in his professional career. 30 wins, no defeats, with 27 KOs. He is the WBA and WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. Is he strong enough to do that? Well, that was a good right hand by Tucker. That might have been the best shot that might have been. Technically speaking, no one gave. He always felt that he was susceptible to take jazz, but I think what... Another right hand. And another right hand by Tucker. Tucker see... There was a left hand by Tyson. What's happening? Every time Mike reaches in, Tony comes with the... He had a right hand, but he took a right from Tyson. And another big right by Mike Tyson. And particularly for Tucker. There's a great left hand at the bell by Tyson. Left uppercut, left hook. Led with the left hook. You know, Ray, I, I hearken back to your fight with Marvin Hagler, where after the He's using his height, his reach. Good body shot. Tyson change. Tyson is trying to slow. Tyson too good jab. The jab to box. He's telling him the jab to get inside. That was a good example. That uppercut. He wants to frustrate Mike Tyson. That was a left. He'd take charge as a referee. No nonsense guy. There was a good right hand again by Tucker. In close. Catching Tyson on the way in. He finished with the left hook back allowing Tony Tucker to come in with his head. The uppercut has been doing a tremendous... That was a good left. I disagree at all because Tony's been tying his man up. There was a good right hand by Tucker again. But they're uppercuts, Barry. Do you know they're uppercuts? He's not going to do it. You see the intensity in, in uh, Tony Tucker. There was a big left. And another one. Lee. Tyson comes down on top, up to the head. There's a right hand again. What a good shot. And Tyson with another. Tyson fourth, but the first three rounds, exactly what he did. A lead off right. Be less of a target. There was a right hand. And get him out of there. I think took there was a right hand by Tice people right hand by the man off Tyson's just walk and what Mike has to do is move to his left because it looks right now like he's in it for the long haul here and there was a big right hand and he took, I think he has to I think his timing is not as good as yours last three rounds has been effective in a lot and we see this indeed a great fighter you know another thing that I feel we should at least point out here is there was a rumor in Las Vegas boxing circles oh, 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 oh. about Tyson or rather Tucker's right hand that he had injured his right hand and that's why he backed off once again Tucker trying to get cute and again getting the worst of it still mugging with Tyson which brings the crowd alive well, when it, because you always you talking for a long, long night. This intensity, this magnitude. When you're fighting, you really don't feel it because those drills. The knees seem to buckle just a couple seconds. First, it's up to the uppercuts. off quicker with his jab now. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
we've seen in the past. And the reason for that short jab, then step. Like that. Short jab, then step in. Get close. Now come. There it was. That's for his punches. Once again, now he's not following something. Now he's inside again. The jab to keep a man off of you. Chain like that. Not with the hands. There's frustrations because of what something's doing. Tying his man up. Those are the antics there. Sometimes work. But I haven't done that. Does something dramatic here, but it has been a good. Got to go out there and win this round big. Troy Tucker won the title against Buster Douglas. He's so-called expert. I'm gonna show you, and this is what he did tonight. And he has, even if he. Tucker seems to be fighting the kind of fight that he thinks he's winning. Finishing with a flourish. And so is Tucker. Great finish. Still a pretty entertaining evening. It's over. Well, Tony Tucker talked the talk and walked the walk. He fought him. And he was a better fighter than most of us knew that he was. There's an old saying in boxing, you never know how good an unbeaten fighter is. And an unbeaten fighter is hard to beat because he doesn't know that he can be beat. And that's how Tucker fought tonight. Conversation going on between the two. This seems of a friendly nature. Tony Tucker, very religious man. And we await the decision, and, and we have seen some And here's one. my card, which we will put up in a moment. I have Tyson winning clearly. In terms of rounds, it comes out 8-3-1. and one. The impressive thing to me is that Tyson was really rocked in the first round. He took the punch, he gathered himself, and after a few rounds of uncertainty, just went after it as a fight and let it happen. So if you had to capsulize the kind of fight, Larry, that Mike Tyson fought tonight, what would you say? If you had to capsulize, we had a problem with Larry's headset, I should say. If you had to capsulize the kind of fight that Mike Tyson fought tonight, what would well, you say? Uh, workmanlike. A good, solid job against the guy who was there uh, and didn't let him land a lot of big punches. I think uh, for a guy who fought him back, he fought him back in a way that didn't expose himself to a lot of big punches, which everybody else has gotten from Tyson. And Tyson is not a one-punch puncher. He's a cumulative puncher. All right, we'll get the official decision now as we go up to the ring announcer, Chuck Hall. Chuck? Ladies and gentlemen, here is the decision of the judges. We have a unanimous decision. Judge Phil Newman scores 119-111. Judge Julio Roldan scores 118-113. And Judge Bill Graham scores 116-112. For the winner by unanimous decision, an undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson.